Well, it is Thanksgiving week, and as the big day gets closer, one local nonprofit is gearing up with their preparations to serve the community and continue an annual tradition. We've got NBC Local 33's Courtney Williams live this morning out at St. Vincent de Paul. She has more on their efforts this Thanksgiving holiday season. Hey, Courtney, good morning. Hey, good morning, Jaren. That's right. I'm here at St. Vincent de Paul in the kitchen um, talking all about Thanksgiving that is just in a couple of days and they have a lot going on. So, Mr. Michael Ocado, kind of just tell me, you know, just what you guys have going on and kind of what you guys still need. We're in prep and we need all kinds of things, things like uh, green beans. You see, people just came in last night with all these wonderful items, green beans, canned yams. Those are things we can certainly use, and people can donate. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize how much it costs to put on a Thanksgiving feast for 1,200 people. Right. People can go online, svdpbr.org, see what we need. Also, try to make a contribution financially. Uh, this always stresses us out in this time of year. We're expecting a record crowd. This year, our dining room will serve over 270,000 meals in 2019. Oh, wow. That gives you an idea. Yeah, 1,200 meals on Thanksgiving Day is a lot, but when you consider how many meals we're serving every year, it's an amazing thing. Thank you, Baton Rouge, for all your generosity, and we thank your station for all your support of all our good work. Absolutely. So are you guys still taking, you know, those donations? Oh, uh, yes. Donations are Thanksgiving is a time where it really kicks off the holiday season. If we have a good uh, and generous Thanksgiving response to our appeal, then usually Christmas goes extremely well. And uh, this year is especially challenging. We're one week shorter to uh, Christmas than we were last year. If right. you think about it, last year, Thanksgiving was already over. Thanksgiving last year was the 22nd, I believe. Mm -hmm. And now this year, it's a week later. So uh, we've got a lot to do in a shorter time, and that's why we need the community to respond to our plea. Uh, great things happening here at St. Vincent de Paul because the community is very involved in what we do here locally. So for anybody that's interested in donating, how can they do so? Easy. Go to svdpbr.org and uh, click on the vo volunteer link for any time after Thanksgiving because we're filled up on Thanksgiving, or go to our giving line and, and make a financial contribution. Awesome. So, yeah, they still have a lot going on here at St. Vincent de Paul. They're gearing up for their Thanksgiving meals that will be served on Thursday. They also have a turkey car contest on tomorrow. So you can definitely find everything you need to know all about St. Vincent de Paul's efforts on our free BR Proud app, or you can head to our website at brproud.com. Reporting live here at St. Vincent de Paul, Courtney Williams, NBC Local 33 News. Courtney